Hey review family, keep it I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morse, the review guy. I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one I'm going to be covering the new Car Bomb album, Mordial. This is the fourth studio length album by the Long Island New York mathcore band Car Bomb. I've listened to some of the band's work in the past. I went back to their discography in anticipation for this review, but Mordial is a different beast. This has taken some time to digest. Legitimately, it's taken time to digest. And seeing you guys constantly request a review of this record even more solidifies the fact that this record Holy crap. This is the best mathcore record that has released this year in my opinion. Maybe the best mathcore record that has released in quite a few years. Obviously I haven't heard everything in the underground and stuff, but if you want a little bit of a taste tester, if you want an explanation of the band so you know what you're going to get going into it, what the album entails, if you are unfamiliar with them or whatever, picture the off-kilter and genty nature of a Meshuggah. Combine that with the sheer absurdity and the despondent nature of a Dylan your escape plan, and then add that in with the frenzied, chaotic, just completely pushing you to the limits of sound feel of The Locust. Even this band's introduction sounds good. It's 44 seconds long, it's entitled Start, and it is super melodic with reverb added to guitars that are just swirling around, drifting. That's not an indication of what you're about to get. Because this album, it is completely despondent. It's glum. It's forlorn. It's relentless. It doesn't let up. It bashes your head in. God, I love this! This is a hectic record, full of great performances, full of amazing production, full of amazing compression. And not only are these riffs very technical, they're also very moshy and very accessible in the way that they get your blood pumping, besieging you with all of these great riffs. The real starter to the track, Fade Out, remember when I said that Start was not a good indication of what what this album entailed, I wasn't lying. This track is not only pure insanity from Michael's amazing vocal performance, really a big fan of his vocal style on this record. He has a lot of different styles on this record, whether it's deep guttural growls, shrieks and screams, or just kind of layered vocals together, and his singing always takes on this very gloomy type of feel, this very lackadaisical, you know, melancholic feel. Sometimes even reminding me a little bit of Corey Taylor of Slipknot when he slips into some more of those ominous, just very gothic type of vocal melodies or at least just the careless feel of them. But Fade Out is one of the more vibrant tracks on the record. The mathcore influence is pretty much what you're getting on this record from those frazzled out riffs on the midway point of this track, but it is very crushing throughout. It doesn't get so technical to the point to where it just feels like madness, it just feels like controlled chaos, it just feels like proficient playing. The track Vague Skies features, in my opinion, one of the most horrifically repulsive 30 second openers to a track. This band knows how to do introductions on this record. They thrust you right into the fray. And Vague Skies gives off this feeling that you're in a mental asylum, but you're not mental. But you feel like you're going mental. Something that carries on over to the rest of the record from the track Fade Out that I forgot to mention is the fact that the compression on this production on everything, especially the drums, makes it all sound like this megalithic statue. Everything sounds massive. It sounds like it's towering over you. But hopping back to Vague Skies for a second, these drums sound like gunshots, like literal gunshots. It reminds me a little bit of that Anana Thrak record last year. Love that a lot. Cannot for the life of me remember the name of it though. The chorus does kind of burst in abruptly on the track Vague Skies, but that's kind of true of a lot of the choruses on this record. I think it fits the style though. It's not unanticipated and it's not something that's off-putting. It's just very surprising when the choruses do pop up because you're so laser focused on this just heavy, brutal instrumentation that you don't really expect them to go occasionally into some more melodic riffs, such as on the track Scattered Sprites, which features one of the more melodic riffs on the whole record when you get to that chorus. Reminds me almost a little bit of The Contortionist. Not to mention the guitar solo, even though it is super frazzled out, I think it's very catchy. Which is another thing about this record, how they blend that accessibility and that catchiness with their already frenzied sound. Like, this solo is very unorthodox when you think of the embellishments. The drums are just freaking out. You have layered guitars, you have all this going on, but the main line that's put in front of you, the guitar solo, it just sounds very catchy. The tracks Dissect Yourself and Jojoy feature almost some thrash metal influences in how fast the drum work goes and how the riffs become a tiny bit more simplistic. And instead of the technicality 
personality, more so opting for a galloping style. But both of these tracks are great and crushing. More Deal, the self-titled track, another standout. It's five minutes and one second long. I do really enjoy how this track takes on more of a chuggy, chunkier, bassier feel than a lot of the other tracks that kind of just go really fast. A lot of these riffs just kind of trudge along at this sluggish pace that really down-tuned. The track starts off melodic, but it doesn't stick that way for long, about a minute. This album is a complete aural assault. It is is sheer punishment for your ears. It busts your brains in. But the thing that makes me come back to this record isn't just the fact it's so heavy, it's brutal. It's just the great songwriting and the lively performances on this record that everyone puts forward. It is not the most, you know, super, 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 super dynamic mathcore record that I've ever heard. On surface level, I don't think you can call this one dimensional though. And I'm just loving the sound on this record, the production, the impression. Sure, the vocals might be mixed a little bit low at certain times. Sometimes a riff will be like, mm, this is kind of iffy, this is okay, this is that, this. But it is still an extremely, extremely strong record and one of my favorites in the past few months by far. I'm going to be giving this album a 9 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Please stay for the end screen links of videos that you might be interested in. Have you heard this new Car Bomb album, Mordial? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss the record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. It helped me out a lot. Subscribe to join the review family today. I would love to have you here. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy. You know who it is. And I'm signing off saying farewell.